guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. My name is LaQuinta and this is the Sweet Life of Queen. Um, today we are moving my daughter into college. Yay! I'm so excited and sad at the same time. I'm excited because she's excited, but I'm sad because I'm losing my baby girl. This is her second year, so she's a sophomore at NIU. And yeah, so we're going to be moving her in shortly. We're waiting for her dad to come back. He went to go check her car out again to make sure that everything is fine before she drives. Um, she will be taking her car there because she has a job waiting for her and she has other activities and stuff that's off campus that she wants to do. So yeah, um, it is thundering now. So that means we're gonna get caught in a rainstorm. Yay. I think it's her first time maybe even driving in a rainstorm. So in this car, so I don't even know she know how to really work it. So that's gonna be interesting. I have my NIU shirt on, NIU mom. She has her NIU shirt on. Her, she does have one, a diff, she has a different shirt, a few shirts as NIU, but she just have a regular NIU shirt on today. Just found out that my husband and my son will not be going with us. So it's a mama daughter moving tag. Oh my gosh, guys. I am not ready for that because I am tired. I have had a long, busy weekend, been working overnight shifts. So I was not expecting this. I thought we all were going to go together. So yeah, y'all pray for me. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog because again, it's just the two of us and she wants to go to choir rehearsal tonight. I doubt that. I know for a fact we have to go to Walmart or somewhere to get her some groceries and some other stuff. So yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go. Again, I'm only functioning off a little sleep, so I'm tired. I was not expecting this. So anyway, we're getting ready to head in the car. We gotta go gas up her car and then we're gonna be taking off and moving this girl in. I don't know again how much I'm gonna be able to vlog because like I said, it's just both of us. I will try to get as much as I can. And I believe she's probably gonna do a room tour. She does have three roommates now and they have a little apartment. So it's really cute. Um, Actually, I have, we have not even seen her actual apartment. So this will be the first time we will be seeing her apartment. So yeah. Fun times ahead. So I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get moving. And yeah, I'll see you. Oh, one more thing. I'm gonna add a clip in here because um, I did give her and her roommates a gift, a present. I always do that. My kids get back to school presents every year. My daughter, she was asking me when I was putting it together. I didn't have time to really do the video like how I wanted to, but she was asking me, she was like, Am I gonna have an end of school year um, gift? Do you always give me one at the end of school year? I'm like, girl, we get ice cream at the end of this school year. What are you talking about? She's so funny. But yeah, so we're gonna do that and she has a back to school present. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Pick up some stuff. I'm gonna use this basket, I guess, to make um, her movie night basket. And then I bought her a container to put some candy in. And then she needed some bath towels and stuff. So she's picking up a few items from Walmart. And when I get together and put the basket, I will show you guys. Okay hey guys, so I'm going to show you um, what I got Lexi for her roommate's gift. So today um, I'm going to make them a little movie night basket. It's not gonna be a whole lot. And I also got them a candy jar to put some candy in. She can either have this in the living room or whatever when the guests come or in the kitchen, I don't know what they want. Or maybe they can use it as a cookie jar. So I'll show you guys that. Um, it's just a small one. She does love Oreos, so she can even use this as a cookie jar or a candy jar, whatever. So you guys can see. It was only like $5, I think. It wasn't bad. Okay, so then I found this tote. 
and it was like four dollars and if she when they're finished with it she can still use it for storage because it's a really nice size bin of course i got some popcorn it's 12 packs so they can have two movie nights actually maybe more um I got them some lemonade. I don't know what the girls like, but I figured everybody loves lemonade. So it's just a Minute Maid kind. Set that in here. And also my daughter, she loves Hot Cheetos. So I hope her roommates do too. So I'm just going to put that in here. I got them some peanut m and so this is her favorite but again i don't know if the girls might be allergic to peanuts or whatever but it's for alexis too so <laughs> um i got her favorite candy so i'm gonna put that in there i also got starburst so the girls can have that or they can like i said they can put it in a candy jar cookie jar whatever oreo cookies it's her favorite cookie so we're gonna put that in there as well And then last but not least, I got her some movie theater butter to put on the popcorn. So we're gonna put that in here. That's all that's all the gifts that I got. I gotta wrap it up for her. And yeah. So for her gift, I think I showed it um another video, but just in case you didn't see that, I just got her. This is her all-time favorite um Bath and Body Works set. They had a sale, so I got her that and they wrapped it up for me. Put a little cute bow. And then from her pup pup, we got her the car freshener, air freshener with the little paw print and a heart because her puppy misses her. And then we got three different scents, two in the back and one right there. Got her some hand sanitizer to put in her car, or to, you know, keep in her car, her purse. And then I got her some sleep spray, spray on her bed. Hopefully I'll help her to go to sleep. Um, so since this is a new experience for her with her roommates, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I just gotta wrap it up and maybe add some tissue paper or something in it. I'll show you a final presentation later. All right, getting ready to head out. Say bye. Can you smile over? Huh? Smile. You recording? Yeah. Okay, let's go. We gotta go. You ready to drive by yourself? All right, girls. Time to do it. Let's hit this road. All okay. right. You ready? Sure. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. I didn't even, um... Having lunch with my favorite girl. On her moving day. <laughs> hey guys, so it is moving day for Alexis and it is only she and I who are moving her in. So this is going to be fun because she has a lot of stuff. And it's like 3 o'clock so they gave her a sign time. So far only one of her roommates has been here and yeah hopefully the other two will be in later because we got a lot of stuff we're gonna get her bed set up and we have to like clean and stuff her apartment is decent it's it's okay it's not what we thought like far as the table set up or whatever but it is what it is it's hers and she's happy so i'm happy <laughs> but um so i have to unload her car and then i have to unload my car because I'm driving back home and her car is staying here. So we have to drive separately. She did very good driving by herself. And yeah, so I will see you guys inside and I'll show you her apartment. And yeah, we're gonna have fun moving in tonight by ourselves. <laughs> yeah, yes. I'm 
you have windows that you can um, actually put um, decoration curtains on. So now we gotta find you some curtains. This is Alexa's side. Slowly moving in. Here's her closet. And here's her closet. Go back to your bags for lifesavers. They got the little concerts already put together. The yogurt. You don't like those? Yesterday was so Alexis had a late moving day, um, which kind of threw me off because last year she had it early and that really helped out the majority of the day. Plus, I also had helpers, my darling James, both of them. This time it was just me and Lexi, so I was super tired. She was tired from the, we had a long, crazy, stressful week, you know. Oh, yeah. But anyway, we finally finished. Well, the majority of it. She's going to decorate the living room and the kitchen area with her roommates. She has three roommates and they're really cool girls. I met two of them. I didn't meet the other one because Lexi just actually met her earlier today. So, <laughs> Lexi is so funny. She texts me. She's like, Mom, my roommate is here. And this is weird. This is very awkward. I'm used to having my own room. I want to go back home to my own room. <laughs> I'm like, girl, I know, I know, I know, I know. And I said, it'll get better. You'll get used to it. <laughs> she said, did you tell us not to talk to strangers? Well, now I got to sleep with a stranger. <laughs> When I tell you, I was cracking up. <laughs> and then she FaceTimed me earlier. She started work, so she had to go to training today. But you guys, it was hilarious. <laughs> when my um my body was in pain, I was so tired. Again, we had to do it by ourselves, and all they gave us was a dolly. I'm like, are you serious? So thank goodness for those blue IKEA bags. I think I showed them in a clip. When I was doing her room tour, she had three of those. And those things are lifesavers. So they're the zipper IKEA plastic bags. And I found them at the checkout last year. And they like hold like a backpack. So I threw one on my back, put the other two on the thing, and all her other bags. And I stacked them up on a dolly and I carried it in. Oh my gosh, y'all. It was a nightmare. A nightmare. I told my husband, if he ever make me do this again by myself, woo, honey. But anyway, um, so yeah, it was it was a really good experience. However, um, so that we didn't get to see her apartment until actually move-in day because it was not ready before. So a couple of things surprised me. <laughs> so originally they told us that the beds would be bunk beds. So I was already upset about that because I'm like, why should I have a bunk bed? Blah blah blah. If you notice last year in her dorm room she had a headboard because she had her own bed so we gave her headboard away because they told us she was having bunk beds but then we get there they're not bunk beds it's two beds side by side but she was fine because she did not want a headboard she didn't even want all that fancy frilly stuff that's just me i'm just extra 
but you know it turned out cute i'll add some pictures here so you guys can see because i don't think i recorded because when i tell you i was trying to get done like i didn't leave there at 10 o'clock at night we went to walmart we were in walmart forever and then we kept running to other parents at walmart and we just kept talking and you know because we had my i had on my niu shirt and she had on hers so i guess they thought she was freshman but we didn't get the chance to take our pictures in it last year so i'm like okay this this year we're taking pictures however i thought both of the james was coming because i wanted to get one with all four of us but you know my plans never work out right so whatever but you know so we were talking to one parent for a while her daughter um is a oh she was a transfer student it was her first year so i thought she was i thought she was a freshman but she was a junior actually so we were talking to her and because she saw that uh when we were grocery shopping she were buying stuff that you know the kids can eat like microwavable stuff fruits and stuff like that but she saw lexi had like chicken <laughs> and ground beef i bought her like the small package of um ground beef but lexi likes to cook and um so she was like am i missing something <laughs> She's like, your daughter in the dorms? <laughs> I said, no, she has an apartment like right across the street from the dorms, you know, like a little down from where your daughter is. She's like, oh, okay, I get it, I get it. She said, yeah, those were all filled up. I'm like, yeah, they filled up quickly because Lexi wanted the ones inside her, um, inside of the building next door to her from last year. They were gone like that. And so, again, she wanted this other apartment, which it was really, really nice. It, it looked perfect for her. However, it was just kind of far down the street, like down the road. And I was just, at this time, she didn't really have a car. So I'm just like, eh, no. But she had her heart set on that apartment. I felt bad because she really, really wanted it. However, when we found this apartment, she fell in love. And I just like, okay, she didn't been through enough stuff. I can't like say no. <laughs> So here she is. She's in this one. And um, yeah, so this one has a lot of amenities. It has a swimming pool, um, a arcade game room or something. It's so nice. And we just found out that it's pet friendly. I don't know how well Avery would do in that environment. Avery's spoiled, rotten. And yeah, she's spoiled. <laughs> that's all i can say she's spoiled she's spoiled rotten so yeah and i did see a lot of pets there i saw a lot of dogs and i was like okay no i don't know how avery gonna react there but um so we'll see i don't know if she's gonna move there or not with her mom i prefer lexi have like her own apartment and then have avery you know i don't know how the roommates will react because it's already a tight space and then add a puppy yeah i don't know because i know one of the other girls she has a dog because I heard her talking to her mom and she was telling me about she was telling me about her dog a little bit so yeah interesting interesting so another thing that caught me by surprise was you know she didn't have the bunk bed she had side by side beds which was fine again these girls just met each other two weeks ago via text so this was their first time seeing each other um so I guess tonight they're gonna run to Target or whatever Target Walmart to get some decorations to decorate the apartment um the apartments we saw the windows were like from wall to wall and um these were like regular windows i'm like she could have hung up curtains if i would have known and even in her room they're really high up but still so i was like wow i wish i would have known that i could have got her some curtains she's like mom i don't need all of that blah, 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 blah. i'm like girl i think it was cute so that was another thing um one more thing that i noticed was they told us that the girls would have a table with four chairs they have a table but they have two chairs so like where do the other two girls sit that was weird um also they told us that they will have a like sectional couch since there's four of them and it was like a regular couch with three people so where's the fourth person supposed to sit but let's say mom it's not a big deal i'm like yes yes it is if they say one thing then it should be that you know what i'm saying so i was like huh that's different but other than that everything else was okay um i'm just a planner so it's just hard for me because i was ready to go in there and 
you know, do everything, decorate everything. But Lexi's like, no, mom, it's my space. I have to do it. And she's right. I have to let her grow up and be an adult. I always want to jump in and do stuff. That's typical mom, but I have to stop. And that's a hard task for me. So, yeah, other than that, it was a great experience with her move in. So, she's happy. I'm happy. We did talk today for a while. And um, it rained again there. It didn't rain here. It was very sunny here. So, she was like, um, some of them wanted to go bowling. Some, she's like, I'm not doing nothing. I got to finish cleaning up. She's like, Mom, I'm hungry. I said, girl, all that food that we just bought. Oh, so they have like one regular size refrigerator for four people to divide. Wow, that's going to be interesting. I don't know how they're going to do that. Because Lexi bought a lot of stuff. So it's like she's so used to, you know, cooking for at home and stuff. And it's four of us at home. So she's just used to doing that. So she's like, Mom, I want to cook this for the girls and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, that's nice. But don't do it all the time. You know, some, you got to learn how to cook for just one. I know it's going to be a hard task. But you got to learn how to do it for one. Especially when she makes her baked macaroni and cheese. She makes the biggest the biggest pan of macaroni and cheese all the time so yeah we'll see how it goes i am getting ready to make some dinner and i'll probably show you guys in a clip what i made but i'm going to end this vlog and call it a night because i am still tired my feet are still hurting <laughs> and i thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give us a thumbs up Comment below, tell me what you thought. I will add some pictures at the end because I don't think I recorded her actual bed or anything completed since the girl was tired, okay? So I will add some pictures at the end. We didn't take many because we were exhausted and it was late at night. Um, So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I will see you guys on the next video. Please say hi. I want to get to know you guys. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye.